what's going on guys look we got a surprise for you today uh so i got a got a guy that you know wants to mow when it's wet but his problem is he owns one of these pieces of junk uh so you know i, I told him all about the ferris and i said look man i get you on a ferris you're gonna sell this thing and uh you know well we're gonna see what he thinks because well we got the ferris out y'all remember this one right with the twills oh yeah you say hi? oh he's ready to roll boy look at him ready to go look he can't get on it fast enough so the first thing he said is he he likes the platform of this better all he did was uh load that up but um because this throws him in the pad because the way you know the skag's designed but this one is not designed that way it's meant to not be as far back four inches guys here he goes he wants to mow wet without clumping baby that's what he wants he wants to be able to throw some grass with no clumpage so uh we're gonna see what he can do here is what we're gonna see so i'm going to uh set you up real fast i'm going to move my truck so he ain't slinging uh slinging stuff all over it So we get here and he said, uh, he said, man, he said, it's not gonna be, you know, cutting much off. He said, but I guarantee you the skag will clump in this. <clears throat> and I said, well, that Ferris won't. Look at this Ferris throw this grass, boys. Look at this cut. Look at this quality of disbursement, baby. Look at that, look at that. Look at the disbursement. Well, I mean, and now you gotta think, he's he's still cutting, you know, a little bit off. There's, it's not like crazy, but he's cutting at least a good inch or so off. And the, the disbursement of this thing, and it, it wouldn't amaze me. tell you what when he messaged me i said look man i said i've got i will mow my nicest property with my ferris and he said cracker jacks and i said no sir i will mow my nicest property when it's wet and uh well here we are uh showing him right now how it works so we're gonna see what he thinks about it anyway. Regardless, we'll get an opinion. All right, guys, we want to see what the wideness difference is here. And yeah, you can, yo, yeah, you, yeah, you can definitely tell the Ferris has a wider stance. Can you tell when you're going up that hill? <clears throat> the Ferris held the better. Does this next one we're going to have any hills? Got one big. So we're going to go to a tester he says uh so yeah let's let's get it baby all right guys this is his tester property he says it's uh well as you can tell it's it's pretty kind of thick uh and so yeah uh apparently this is a bi-weekly property so he really he's going to get some growth cut off of this one compared to the other one anyway so uh this is this is gonna be his tester he says to see how it cuts uh compared to you know the skag and the wetness 
So uh, I will say, just riding this over, the platform does throw you in. Uh, the platform on this, even though the, the platform on the Ferris is that suspension platform, I have to say, I, now I, I rode it from there to here, guys. And you know, I'm, I'm totally 100% honest with you. I, I kind of like the feeling that I got from that. I don't like the feeling of the controls and stuff, but I, I did kind of like the feeling of that. Uh, I don't know why, but it, it felt kind of nice. So, <laughs> anyway, um, we got the other GoPro strapped to the mower, and we're going to see what uh, what he does here. He's, he's talking about going this direction, going that direction, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, yeah. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, get you some of that nice bean. We're going to get you some of that nice bean footage rolling.
All right, boys. So, uh, you know, the V-Ride. So uh, another thing we were just talking about is how the V-Ride holds a lot of grass when you're mowing wet, you know, in the morning and stuff. And guys, I'll tell you, this, this ICD deck, you hardly ever have to scrape it. Totally is amazing. I, I mean, literally is amazing um, how well this thing disperses and throws the grass out. But uh, so, you know, you, you got the footage at the end of me mowing with the V-Ride. I'm still, you know, I'm so used to using the Ferris that the the ride quality of that is just weird to me the way it hits bumps the way i i feel uh like if i'm standing on it like and i'm riding on the pavement then it's you know it feels totally different i kind of like the the ride but i don't like the control still of how thick the handles are but once i got to mowing with it it just seems like the front end's real bumpy to me and it, it, it has a whole different experience personally to me um, compared to, you know, the Ferris in my opinion. But he uses the Skag nonstop, day in, day out. So uh, he's going to, you know, continue using the Ferris for the rest of the day. But, you know, for, for what we've got right now, uh, mowing the properties he's mowed with it being soaking wet out. I mean, it's pretty wet this morning. Okay, uh, overall, what's your thoughts and opinions of, of what you know so far? Pros, cons, like, literally give it to us. All right, so the uh, fires here, uh, the cut quality, you put these two mowers uh, next to each other, and I guarantee the cut quality is better, even though I run the skag. Uh, I would say the um, ride suspension is a little bit different, like Danny said. Uh, I personally like the skag better, but... Once I get used to the Ferris, if, if I purchase it, it may be, uh, may be better. Um, also, the small hand controls. Uh, if you got small hands like Danny, works real well. You got big hands like me, you like the Skag, the bigger controls. <laughs> um, I also like the uh, deck. Comes up to about six inches, which clears the trailer uh, real nicely. Compared to the Skag, it only goes up to about four and three quarters. Sometimes it gets caught up. Uh, also, the um, same engines, guys. He's he's got the 37 Vanguard. The only difference is uh, the decks, of course. You know whatever RPMs they're set at uh, from the factory, and this has the oil guard system on it. Um, as far as you know, power wise. Uh, so yeah, okay, back to it. Oh yeah, I mean that's basically all. I uh, it runs good. Basically the exact same machine and. I hate to tell it to you, but I think the Ferris does better. I mean, in the wet grass, that skag will clump up pretty darn easy. Uh, this thing just and you threw it the, out there like it was nothing. You said the skag will hold a lot of grass under yeah, the deck. Oh, too. yeah. That, I mean, it's probably covered right now. And <clears> I just cleaned that deck. So, um, yeah, and you was looking underneath this one, and that's when we got on that conversation. So, uh, yeah. All right, well, use it for the day, and... Uh, I'm curious to, I'll, I'll meet back up with you probably because you're going to take it back out and drop it off this afternoon. Yeah. So I'll probably meet back up with you this afternoon after you drop it off Got it. and, uh, or whatever, meet you in Harrisonville or something. Yep. And just to finish this video and see after you using it all day, if your thoughts change on the controls, the stance, you know, after literally getting, getting a little used to it, um, and go from there. So as of right now, uh, this is, you know, his pros and cons, and, you know, we'll see after he uses it all day what uh, what he thinks of it. So uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah.